go for it. Hello, London town. Hello. Hello, London town. Hello, London town. Hello there. Oh, we just touched down, and all of a sudden we talk like this. Why do we talk like this? Yeah, we just touched down. Oh, and now we all talk like this. Why do we all talk like this? I wanted to speak English, but I didn't really want to make the effort to learn anything. Um, and I was at a point in my life where it was nothing happening, really. I had the same job for a while. Uh, you know, I was graduated for one year, um, and I didn't find any new jobs. So, yeah, I just thought, okay, let's go to England and see what can happen if I go there. I just call my landlord. I just call my parents and say, okay, I'm going to go to London in one month. in London it was already night time and it was weekend so it was engineering work oh, sorry, nothing was really working <laughs> the way I wanted to I arrived in Victoria with my absolutely massive suitcase uh, that I couldn't even carry in the stairs because it was so heavy uh, I was overweight I had like 25 kilos and the maximum was 22 um, but I've been quite lucky because in the um, I don't remember but I think I didn't pay an extra at the airport and um, I went to buy my Mastercard, so I queued, and I couldn't speak at all. So at one point, um, the, the salesman just went out to talk to me. <laughs> so I had anyway my Mastercard for the week or whatever I took, and he just to ask me if I was going to live here. And I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he said, okay, good luck, <laughs> because I couldn't understand anything. <laughs> When I arrived, to be honest, I was really full of energy. Like, yeah, I'm going to do it, I'm going to rock it, you know. But then I felt terrible in the first three months because, well, I loved the city and I was really excited and, you know, amazed by the amount of people and all everything was going on and things like this. But I couldn't speak English, so it was not really fun at all. I couldn't communicate, I couldn't understand people. So every single thing that you do was just like a workout. Going to buy milk was a workout because I had to, you know, obviously talk to people. I walked a long way around, seen Nelson looking down. Wish that it all had that clear of you. But I'm lost here in my head, tangled up inside this web. It's late in the summer now And I'm caught up in all this madness I'm lost in the streets I thought I knew My first job, um, I had a friend who was living in London and was working there. So when I arrived, he told me, OK, let's go there and see if they can give you a job. Um, and I had an interview. And he was, I was just, nodding and smiling basically for the whole interview like <laughs> and um, yeah and the lady was called Susie and she was English and she had a really strong accent she was speaking quite fast um, but she was lovely and we did a meeting I could I had prepared something so I had something that I had learned by heart like my name is Caroline and blah 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 I come from France so I said all my paper and then she started asking questions and that was not on the paper, so obviously, <laughs> you know, it went quite bad. But she, she just ended up saying, OK, do you know croissant, pain au chocolat, and all these things? And I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. So she said, OK, should be OK. We'll give you a chance, and then see what happens. Every time I wanted to go back, something really good happened. 
after one year, I had really enough. My English was much better. I could understand everything. Uh, so I decided to quit because I was missing my family as well. So I thought, OK, I'm going to quit, you know, and if I don't find anything, I go back to France. Um, but part of me didn't want to go back to France because my English was not that good enough. And, you know, I kind of liked London, but I just didn't like my job. I didn't have money. So I applied to a lot, lot, lot of companies. And when I was almost ready to book the plane ticket, I had a job interview. For me now it's amazing because I got a good job, I mean, okay job, and I go to university, I have friends, but when you move in London it's not easy. You have no friends, you don't have a job, you don't have money, you don't know anyone, so the beginning is hard and I think that the person that tried to move here thought that he's going to arrive and he's going to have the life I have now, two years after. But two years ago, where I was living was a complete different reality than today. I think I love to go to London anywhere really by night. I think it's beautiful because it's just the city is quiet and it's massive in the same time. But to be honest, I think I really do love London for everything, you know, every single part, maybe apart from the tube and, you know, being packed in the tube. But for the rest of it, I think I just like every, everything that makes London, the people, the place, the culture, the museums, you know. Everything. 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 Everything.